Hello everybody! Today we're gonna talk about what is the difference between, between Facebook and uh, Wikipedia and why the curation process in the media world and in the world of consuming news is very very important. Uh, and that's why Wikipedia, Wikipedia is much much better than Twitter and Facebook. Let's go! everybody on the vlog. Uh, one small little uh, digression at just at the start of this episode. Uh, those headphones are okay. The AirPods Pro but they are absolutely not suited for running. Not at all. If you think about buying them because they have the smart ambient aware thing don't do it <laughs> because the ambient aware thing will make every footstep four times louder in your in your ear than normally and it's not comfortable to to run with them so i have to choose other headphones for running i guess and today we're gonna talk about curation and why you should be your own curator uh, in today's world because all the other curators have changed careers, you know. But come on, yes, they changed careers. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, I mean that uh, all the people that were curators uh, earlier, 10, 15 years ago, now are doing something else because they have been laid off or. <laughs> Or the business model of the uh, of their employer has changed so much that they have nothing to do anymore as curators. Actually, I think that most of the curators from yesteryear uh, are now bloggers or podcasters or other kind of <coughs> creators, but but not curators. And that is why you have to be your own curator. And I mean, really, daily. Uh, because nobody will uh, will do this work for you and if you don't do it you will be fed uh, a kind of diet you don't really want to be fed Okay, so what's the point with the curation thing? The point is that uh, because every good journalist, every good uh, publisher already left the, uh, uh, the job, the career that he or she had, uh, you are left uh, with streams of news, streams of uncurated information, streams of RSS feeds that really you have to decide whether you want to watch or consume them or not. And this is painfully time-consuming. And please don't be fooled by saying that oh, it's the liberty, it's the freedom, it's the democracy and you can do it. You should not be forced to choose 
uh, which media to consume, uh, especially if you're not the specialist in that field. And uh, earlier, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 40 years ago, uh, it was different because uh, you had the journalists and the publishers that uh, took very, very meticulously uh, and very seriously their jobs and they have chosen the information before presenting it to you. Nowadays, you have uh, at least three very big dangers that you have to mitigate somehow in your consumption of news and in your consumption of information in general. Uh, one of those things is the filter bubble. If you consume some kind of information on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn uh, or, or YouTube or you search in Google, those services will propose more of that information to you and also for example Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, they will also intermittently propose you information that is completely opposite uh, of an opposite view to what you consume in order to make you pissed off and to generate some, uh, some kind of an emotional response on your part because if they do uh, you will stay longer on your site and so uh, they will sell more ads and be more successful financially. So this was the first problem. The second thing uh, is that you will lose a lot of time to curate the information you will consume because it's, it will be your job to decide whether the information you are receiving is okay or not is it thorough or not? Is it complete or not? Is it true or not? Do you really have the time to do it? And the third danger is uh, that uh, if you compare Facebook to Wikipedia, uh, Wikipedia is uh, ruled by freedom and by the fact that anyone can propose any change in any article, but there is a big but. There is a lot of people that are Wikipedia editors that are uh, basically their job, their passion, because they are not paid for that, uh, is uh, to watch for any kind of uh, misleading information or, or straightforward uh, false facts that could be entered in those articles. Whereas on Facebook you don't have editors on Facebook, on Twitter, you don't have editors on Twitter. Uh, in your Google News Feed or Apple News Feed, you don't have editors. You just have an algorithm that you don't know really, that is choosing uh, the content for you and it's, it's your job to decide and uh, you will not know whether the information you're receiving is okay or not, is it true or not, and you will use a lot of your strength, uh, of your intelligence that you sh should be using to do anything different, to use it to develop your business, <laughs> you will use it to basically decide whether the information you are consuming is okay or not. So today you have to be your own curator and I think that uh, there is one strategy that is the best, is to consider that the platform is the message. And that means that if you know that Facebook, Twitter, Instagram is offering you things uh, that are based uh, on an algorithm, well, don't consume information at all on those platforms. Choose platforms where there is no algorithm, where you don't have to be a curator of your information, but that you know that there are people like in Wikipedia that are doing this job and that are professional in doing this job. And uh, you will have a lot of free time and the free time you can invest it in a business, in a passion, in playing drums, guitars or whatever you like. The platform is the message, so don't choose the wrong platform and don't fool yourself into saying that oh everybody does it. No, I don't do it. I choose my platform and you can do it also. Cheers!